Hey guys, BX Bricks back with another LEGO Transformer review. Now right now I'm still waiting for the pieces for Superion and they're on their way. I can't wait to see what that looks like. But in the meantime, we're going to bring to you today G1 Ironhide. Let's check them out. Alright, so let's check out some Ironhide right here. Here he is in his G1 form, which is like one of those, uh, those fire response fans. Um, Pretty much also just a, a repaint of G1 Ratchet. So I didn't just repaint him with this because I did design Rat, um, Ironhide a while ago, the same time I did uh, Ratchet. And if you didn't see Ratchet, go check his video out. It's pretty dope. Um, but when I looked at the design, I realized I was still using a lot of T-joints and I wanted to upgrade it with some, uh, some Mixels. So it's kind of a redesign, but um, if you want to see what it would have looked like, just imagine my old Ratchet video in uh, Ironhide colors. But as you can see, it rolls very well, very well, like probably one of my best rolling Transformers to date. Um, there's really no articulation in vehicle mode beyond that. I mean, this part does come up if you wanted it to, which I never really tried to do this in vehicle mode yet, but hey, look, it does work. And just to pick it up, you can kind of see the missiles in the back right there. Got one of those uh, those spring-loaded missiles from um, the Star Wars sets. And now it also included in the Nexo Knights, but let's get into transformation. So first we're just going to take off this canopy right here. Which will be like his little battle sled. And just to get that transformed, you fold that out. This part's already done. And then did have that folding up but now I got this piece there to hold the little missile so that's not going to do that and we fold up the little gun right here little turret and then we have the missiles right there being held down so we're going to set that off to the side and get to iron hide which actually looks pretty cool in this mode like if he didn't have the, the whole back thing going on I would probably leave him like this like this is pretty dope but um, as you can see, like with the sides, there's almost like zero gap compared to like my other Transformers. So with that being said, it's a lot tighter and um, a little more difficult to transform. So you guys are gonna have to probably bear with me a little bit. I'm gonna get the easy parts out of the way. Flip out his little feet right there. Flip out his little feet, there you go. <laughs> Um, I have the same weapon gimmick as uh, I did with Ratchet, where he had guns right there, um, but Ratchet's would be red. So with these, we could take these off, like so. He'll use those in robot mode as his, you know, main guns. So I did a little research, and these guys never really kept a consistent gun with them. I mean, this guy had like maybe five or seven different guns in his little battle sled thing over here, but I was like, all right, the little projectile thing is, is good enough. Um, hmm. All right, so one of the things I'm gonna do right here is lift down this grill piece right here. And the key is to kind of wiggle. Oh, wait, oh, not wiggle yet. But we're gonna take these little flaps right here, which will be on his thighs. We're gonna fold these in. Now these pieces I got from my uh, Lego donation recently and they're tighter than anything I own, which is insane, but so we're just gonna wiggle out the arms like so, right there. And then we could um, flip out the forearm and then fold in this little piece right here. And then swing this arm out. And we got one arm done. I'm gonna kind of pick it up like that just to kind of keep it out the way. Um, we're going to do the same on the other side. It took me a couple of times to learn how to do this so that it wouldn't look so complicated when I did the video. And it looks like it's going fairly well. And then we can fold that out like that. And lift that up. Get that out the way. This is what we got so far. So let me take the torso. And we can flip this around. Like so. 
and I flip up the head. And there we can separate the legs. Pose those up any way you like. Oh, something came off. Something came off. Why are things coming off? No big deal. Just a little plate. And for the backpack right here, I'm just rotate that up. And just kind of slide that out to the back like that. So that way it's just kind of out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. And we can put them in some pretty cool poses. Little stubby arms. But definitely um, it doesn't get in the way of itself too much. I mean, you can still have almost a 90 degree bend, which is only, that's only there. So like for the whole zero gap part, we got to rotate his hands in a nice normal position. So when we uh, arm him up, I just wiggle the arms out, hands out a little bit so it's nice and flush. Do the same on the other side. So as you can see, you can still pull his guns out straight. Let's see if we can get any cool gun poses with him. back a little bit, hopefully without falling over, get his feet a little more flush, just head up, so he has a lot of articulation, I mean he's, he's ready, he's definitely ready, so we're going to just get him ready for a nice little spin, Oh, before we do that, you can pretty much see how he scales with his battle sled. Let's take this bullet off right here of this missile. He scales with that fairly well. Oh, you go right there and shoot that at uh, some Decepticons and blast a little, a little, uh, what are these things called? A little Travis Brick head pieces off right there. <laughs> um, for size comparison, we have Magnificus still hanging out in the studio. I took some of the pieces off of a uh, Perceptor to do Ironhide. So as you can see, he's a, he's a little bit taller, even though he doesn't have like, you know, his feet aren't as poseable as Magnificus's because these are on uh, mixel joints down there as these are just on like, you know, clip pieces right there. Um, one of the other reasons why he's a little bit taller is because the, the waist mechanism, I didn't do the regular gimmick that I do because it would just kind of make him look like a, a midget a little bit, so a little too short, a little too short. Um, here we have him with a deluxe uh, warpath right there, kind of comes just below his shoulders. So yeah, let's do a nice little final spin. Just wanted to do a quick review. Um, wanted to find something that I could build today and review today, you know, to hold you guys down until Superion is delivered. I got most of the pieces already. I just wanted to, I didn't want to build all five aerial bots and then, ha you know, hold those pieces up until the other ones came. They're coming from like the Netherlands or something. So, yeah. So this is BX Bricks. I want to thank you guys again for watching. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little review. Um, this is like a version two of my G1 Ironhide. Once again, if you want to take a look at to see, you know, what improvements I made, I do believe I have some pictures on my mock pages. When I originally posted Ratchet, I think I did like a comparison to show you what the recolor of, you know, Ironhide would be also. So I mean, considering that I might. I might do Ratchet again. I might do a version 2 Ratchet. Who knows? But um, I will see you guys next time. Peace.